Hello friends, you are watching Brothers in Dice channel. My name is Josef and we continue to review the small expansions for Mythic Battles Pantheon. Today we look at Corinthia. Corinthia, you ask? What is it? Is it a monster? Does she come from Corinth? Well, no, there is no such monster in Greek mythology as Corinthia. Um, it's a special expansion. Um, it's basically a crossover between the Conan and Mythic Battles Pantheon games. Conan being the first game by Monolith. Um, also a huge success. Unfortunately, I do not have Conan, so I cannot tell you much about the Conan components of this uh, expansion. So I will just focus on Mythic Battles. Um, there is one more specialty about the expansion, and that is that you cannot get it in the Mythic Battles 1.5 campaign. And there are several good reasons um, that we can touch on uh, while we look at the contents of this box. It's a pretty heavy box. And you will soon enough see why. Ha! It's so heavy and full that I cannot even pull the stuff out. You! Okay, so what do we have here? <laughs> oh, yes, we have Corinthia. This is, this is such a ridiculous mini. It's a, it's a gorilla with bat wings. No wonder they wanted to include something like this. I think, um, so she possibly exists in the Conan universe that I do not know too well, unfortunately. Um, I have seen the movies, of course. Uh, I love the uh, Conan movies, especially the first one. Uh, the soundtrack from that movie, I, I listen to that all the time. Uh, whenever I play a Mythic Battle Spantheon game, that is like ideal soundtrack for that. So that's a piece of, piece of a tip for you there. Yeah, but let's, let's look at Corinthia herself. Wow, <laughs> that's ridiculous. There is a little bit too much, hmm, too much flesh on her teeth. Um, when I'm going to paint her, I might consider sharpening her teeth using, uh, well, using the exacto knife or something. And yeah, this is this is a cool sculpt. Okay, so Corinthia, then we have, huh, Corinthia activation, well, it's not Corinthia, it's called Typhon's Herald, I guess that's because there is no Corinthia in the Greek mythology, and there is Ketos as well, now this is a surprise, there is no Ketos mini in the box, why are we getting Ketos cards? Okay, so all the cards. And of course the sliders for dashboards. And then we have, what is this? Right, so these are commoners or villagers or however uh, you want to call these. Um, we have three different sculpts, uh, each in four copies, so I will show each one. Ah, these are pretty, pretty stiffly. Okay, okay, so we have a guy holding a torch. Yep.
This could be easily used even for like a medieval themed game or something. Not just uh, the ancient themed uh, like medic battles. Then we have with a boy uh, carrying uh, something. A sack of flour, perhaps. Yep. And then we have a lady with buckets of water. These are pretty nice minis. Um, the the commoners or villagers in Mythic Battles Pantheon, they. Um, they are part of the extended rule set. Uh, in the main rulebook, at least for the original uh, release of Medic Battles Pantheon, um, you had this uh, extended rule set that allowed you to use villagers. Villagers are um, they are neutral unit, so none of the players control them, but you can use them uh, in a regular skirmish scenario. And basically, the way they work is that when you have a group of villagers, um, they count as temporary um, umphalos. So, yeah, if, if at any point, for example, you have uh, uh, absorbed three umphalos and you have a um, group of villagers um, that... Uh, that are close to you. I do not remember exactly how close they have to be to you to, to, to count as umphalos, but uh, they basically uh, count as another umphalos, so, so you can win a game uh, like that. And uh, there are rules for luring them towards uh, your, uh, your god and stuff like that. The rules actually like seem pretty interesting, I never played using those rules, but um, it, it actually seems like a relic uh, from the um, like initial iteration during the game design. Um, perhaps that was like the uh, first uh, iteration uh, on the win conditions, but they later decided to um, replace that with... Uh, with a simpler mechanic of umphalos, which is, uh, which I appreciate. I like simple rules. So, villagers. Okay, then we have. Okay, let's 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 have a let's have a look at these dashboards, which uh, apparently are for the Conan game. Uh, but. I I cannot tell you anything about the Conan game. So um, if you have Conan, uh, you might get some info from this. So we have Heracles, we have Atalanta, we have Le Leonidas, we have Achilles, we have o Odysseus. Yeah, and I keep looking at the French versions, right? Yep. So, Conan cards, there you have it. And we have dashboards and there is Keto's dashboard as well. <laughs> I just do not have Keto's mini. That's the one thing that I, uh, that I do not have from, uh, from the whole Mythic uh, Battles repertoire. Okay, Keto's, shall, shall I even read this? I, I think I should. Okay, so what do we have? So he has a, um, a Titan-like, uh, not Titan. Uh, well, he has the big dashboard. A mighty thrown block, three activation cars. Uh, water creature, of course. High attack skill, high defense skill. Range of zero and... Movement of one. Okay, so the guy can actually move, unlike um, Charybdis. Okay. At the end of Keto's activation, 
well, it's called Curse of the Sea. Two tokens. At the end of Kato's activation, make one additional six dice. Range one attack per devoured token remaining in his pool. If a hero is wounded by these additional attacks, place a devoured token on them. Okay. A hero with devoured token cannot be attacked. When a unit with a devoured token is activated, the only action it can take is a minus two offense attack against Kedos. The hero's talents and powers may only be used against Kedos. So these um, devour tokens, I believe that the, the mini comes with uh, a little tentacle minis as well. And uh, that is what is represented here. So basically Kedos grabs the um, you know the opposing hero in his t uh, in his tentacles and gets ready to eat him. If Kedos suffers two plus wounds in a single attack from any unit, then the attacker may choose to remove one devour token from any hero. If Kedos is moved, then any units with devour tokens are moved to the same area if possible, and to an adjacent uh, area if Kedos area is full. Okay, so he basically keeps dragging his victims around. But they can free uh, themselves by doing uh, an attack that uh, takes two damage of Kedos. And then we have the actual Devour action, which costs an um, Art of War card. At the start of Kedos activation, you may discard one Art of War card to destroy all units with Devour tokens on them. Woo! Kedos regains one previously lost vitality for each unit he destroys with this power. Okay, so <laughs> he can grab heroes and he can eat them basically for an Art of War card. That's a pretty devastating ability, but uh, the main actor of this expansion is not Corinthia, it's Typhon's Herald, which is Corinthia, of course. Um, okay, so she has, uh, or he has, I don't know, four, uh, art of, uh, four activation cards, no Art of War, flies, of course, on the bat wings, costs three uh, recruitment points. Force of Nature, Mighty Throw, Block, yeah, typical monster uh monster like uh, abilities or talents sorry talents there um well average or slightly above average um stats movement of two that is very good seven life and we have two abilities if typhon's herald destroys an enemy unit he may discard one art of war card to walk up to one area and make a second attack this is part of the same activation. So, what this does is, uh, you can, as long as you keep killing and you have Art of War cards, uh, you can massacre a whole bunch of units and walk a little bit uh, as well. So, pretty cool uh, aggressive ability. And then we have Bloodlust. Whenever Typhon's Herald rolls a natural 5 during an attack, he may choose to reroll one other dice from that assault. This does not apply to the results of 5 that are gained by setting aside other dice. Okay, so for natural 5s, you can reroll other dice, boosting his uh, um, offensive ability a little bit. Nice, so this is. The Typhon's Herald. Yeah, he actually looks like something that uh, might have been spawned by Typhon. Perhaps uh, Typhon and Echidna. Those two guys together already have some nasty children. <laughs> that, you will, uh, that you will see later. Anyway, so Typhon's Herald. And then we have, well, Conan cards. I will show you the cards. I will not say anything about the Conan cards. Oh, there's Hydra. Oh, hmm. Uh-huh. There's some 
tokens. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so as I said, you cannot get this uh, expansion during the 1.5 campaign, but uh, uh, if you have a Conan game and uh, you just got uh, the medic battles, perhaps you can find this uh, on, on eBay still. Who knows? I bet you can. The rule books. Of course, we have two rule books, a French one and English one. Um, so apparently there is a content for, um, for, uh, the Conan game. Uh, it looks like you can play Conan on Mythic Battles Pantheon's map. That, that sounds pretty cool. Makes me sad that I do not have Conan. Yeah. More... Uh, more um, Mythic Battles maps set up uh, for a Conan game. And the rules for using Mythic Battles in Conan. Right. And then we have scenarios. The ghost ship. The wind billowed in the ship's sail. A clear sign that Athena gave her blessing to this expedition. Odysseus let his gaze rest peacefully on the azure waters. Icarus was flying quietly around the ship, <laughs> occasionally making a deep dive that brought him within inches of the surface. The feathers in his harness drawing arabesque in the clear water. Okay, now I, now I imagine Icarus as a seagull flying around the ship. Oh, and I guess that this is a, that this is a map from Conan actually. I do not have it. I cannot tell for sure, but that's my expectation. So there are scenarios to be played uh, on on a Conan map for Mythic Battles with some um, with some cool special rules apparently. Um, there are ballistas that you can shoot from apparently. Looks exciting. And the second scenario, a power awakens. This one uses uh, Mythic Battles Pantheon map. And uses the villagers. And there is... Huh. There are special rules for villagers in this scenario as well. Civilians. Okay. And you can convert them. But these look different uh, than the rules that are in the main rule book. Okay, so this was Corinthia expansion. I hope you liked the review. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. The subscribe button is right under the video. And uh, as I have promised, we now have a painting tutorial for the God Pan on the channel, painted by Oliver. He's a great painter. Check it up. Uh, I will put the uh, put the link to the video somewhere here. Let's say here. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.